Hi, Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to my channel. And for those who are new here, I'm Onya Atta and this is Atta Touch. So for today's video, I will be doing something at my husband's office. This is his office. He owns a general insurance agency called Rotex On The Go. So ni lah kawasan depan Rotex On The Go. As you can see here, there's a quite big gap between the roller shutter and the main office door. So to make use of this space, I'm planning to make a shoe storage that also can be used as a seating. Sebab nak masuk office ni, kena buka kasut. So instead of beli je rak kasut yang baru, I'm planning to use an old furniture and repurpose it. I found this table drawer at the thrift store nearby Rotex on the go. So senang lah, tak payah angkat jauh-jauh. Uh, thrift store ni dia macam kedai second hand lah orang kita panggil. The condition is not so good. Dia punya handle satu dah hilang, kunci dah hilang, tak boleh function. And then dia punya tepi, kawasan tepi tu ada banyak dah pecah-pecah. First thing first, we must clean it. I took out all the drawers to make it easier for me to clean. So, kita dapat pakai satu je drawer untuk dapatkan height yang selesa untuk duduk. Dua lagi drawer ni kita tak pakai and yang tiga kayu yang dekat atas sini sekali dengan besi bracket drawer tu kita akan buka sebab tak, tak pakai and then saya akan tambahkan satu plywood untuk seating. Keluarkan kayu yang belah atas ni Kalau saya tarik je The whole frame akan tercabut sekali So I decided to potongkan aja. Next we gonna unscrew everything Sepatutnya kena unscrew drawer bawah tu sekali But I could not figure out how Sebab dia punya screw macam tersorok So um, biar je dulu Moving on to sanding the surface Kita gunakan sandpaper untuk uh, ratakan Every parts yang imbul Especially bahagian screw-screw tadi Making sure semuanya rata Okay next step I'm using this wood filler To fill semua lubang-lubang And bahagian yang tak rata How I'm doing it is uh, take a small portion at a time and then just tekankan dia bagi dia masuk dalam lubang and cuba ratakan sekemas mungkin. And for parts yang ada chip macam ni, just try to fill it and tarik to make it straight. And when you press, masih nak tarik itu, make sure the pressure is on bahagian yang tak ada chip. Also, you have to cover all the areas that are not laminated. Maksudnya, all the exposed wood or MDF part uh, need to be covered by the wood filler. This is to make sure that your paint will not be absorbed by the wood. Uh, also, you will have a cleaner and smooth surface. The bucket of this wood filler stated that it needs 15 to 20 minutes to dry, but I leave mine overnight to dry because kalau kita letak banyak at one place, nanti dia akan take longer to dry and sometimes it will shrink. So kalau dia shrink, you just fill it again. When it's all dried, kita akan sandpaperkan permukaan tu bagi rata dan licin. This process akan bersepah sikit so I suggest you to do it outdoor. Then, 
I sandpaper every inch of the surface to make sure that the paint sticks to the surface because sometimes laminated furniture can be very glossy that the paint can easily be scraped off not to forget this uh, drawer compartment I will be spray paint this one as well next clean up the dust use a damp cloth and wipe it all over to make sure that you get rid of all the dust on the surface before we start painting moving on to painting fyi this is the step that i regret doing Continue watching if you want to know what happened. This is my process, so I include this in the video. Although I advise, if you are doing this project, you can totally skip this step. Okay, sebelum ni, I've watched several videos about spray paint a laminated furniture. Most of it, suruh guna primer to ensure the paint sticks properly to the surface. Tapi, dekat hardware kat sini, tak ada jual pula. And dia kata, um, undercoat ni sama je dengan primer. So, I bought this one for RM20. So, these are the things you need to start painting. Kalau tak ada pembuka tin cat, you can always use a flat head screwdriver. penting ya, sebelum kita start cat, kita kena kacau dia supaya dia punya kepekatan dia sekata I start with painting this 43 x 36 cm plywood I got from the hardware and this is going to be the seating for this project um, normally hardware they can jual standard size of plywood and I ask them to cut size yang saya nak ada certain hardware they can charge untuk uh, service pemotongan tu I also bought kayu 1 inch darat 1 inch yang kita akan guna untuk buat seating ni nanti Not to forget the drawer and also the sides. I officially hate this brush. The white. It's really hard to work with. The sponge doesn't stick to the roller, and kalau sponge tu kena steel handle tu, dia akan tukar cat jadi color greyish. I have no clue why this happened. Maybe the roller I'm using is not suitable with the paint or maybe I use it wrongly. If you know why this happened, please comment below. So, after I leave the paint to dry for a few hours, I tried spraying it with the color that I want. Nasib baik saya test dulu. To my surprise, this happened. Tempat yang ada ada coat senang sangat cala compare dengan tempat yang tak ada ada coat. As you can see here, I'm putting no pressure at all. Still ada kesan dekat tempat yang ada ada coat. Is it normal, guys? Tengok sini eh. Seriously, it can easily be scraped off. And here, I'm just using my bare fingers, not even my nails. What did I do wrong? Rasanya it's either I did not sand it properly or the ada coat is not suitable with this project. Whatever it is, I'm not gonna start spraying knowing that it's gonna be easily scratched. So, terpaksa lah tanggalkan semua undercoat tu balik. Setelah penat menyental, inilah rupa dia. Sebabkan dah kepenatan and I still kena spray paint semua lagi, saya tinggalkan je bahagian yang akan tercover dengan drawer tu nanti. And bahagian belakang, knowing that that part, tak ada orang usik. Finally, we can start spraying. Make sure kita kena ada cover lantai ya. Kat sini, saya siap ada cover keliling sebab uh, saya spray ni dekat wall. 
and advisable untuk buat outdoor sebab dia ada bau. So when we are painting something, normally we would do two or more coats. So kita buat satu coat and then two kering and then another coat. Lepas tu kalau still ada kawasan yang patchy atau uneven color, still kena buat layer yang baru. Okay, so while I'm doing that, uh, saya nak bagi tahu kenapa saya prefer spray paint over bucket paint. One is because the finishing is nicer. You will get a smooth and clean surface without the brush stroke. And two, there's less tool use. So, less things needs to be clean. In terms of costing, it really depends on your project. Kalau nak pakai banyak kali warna yang sama or even you're working on a big project, Bucket paint is of course the cheaper choice. Tapi itu pun untuk harga cat yang biasa je. Kalau yang ada brand or ada specific effect ke apa semua tu lagi mahal. So back to this project, for the first coat, I'm using Mr. DIY punya spray paint. Um, but even after the second coat, I can still see clearly the white patch of wood filler. So for the next layer, I try using a spray paint from the paint shop. And it is more pigmented compared to the DIY spray. We can easily find this spray paint at the hardware. Tapi hardware normally jual mahal dalam RM15 macam tu. I bought this at a pin shop for only half of that price. Also not to forget the drawer. Uh, I'm using the color white for this one. Slight change of the plan. So instead of using only one drawer, I want to use two drawers. So we have to take out the bottom part so that it won't be too high for a sitting. Part ni senang je. I just need to unscrew all the bracket there. And I screwed on rubber leg at the bottom. Then I screw in 1 inch times 1 inch wood each side for the seating. Uh, it is very hard to screw it in. I even have to ask my husband for help. If you have a driller, it will be very helpful for this process. As for the plywood seating, I kneel in 1 times 1 inch wood at the front part to make it steadier uh, and color it black. The bottom drawer is quite high so I'm arranging the shoe uh, vertically. I'm gonna need this divider to determine the space. Bought it from Mr. DIY for 3 ring and 30 cent. All you need to do is cut it into the desired size and assemble. And for the last touch, I'm adding a cushion to make it look more like a sitting. Here you can see I also did a vertical wall hanging plan at the back there. I made a whole new video about it. Make sure you check it out.
That's all from Ata Touch for today. Tell me what do you think about this video down below. If you like it, press like. And if you love it, subscribe. I will be posting more videos on DIYs, furniture flips, space decor and lots more. If you are interested in those kind of videos, don't forget to subscribe. Do check out my previous videos and hope to see you on my next videos. Bye. Assalamualaikum.